Hey guys, Jamie here, Divine Lee Canadian Tarot. I am here to do a reading for you guys for the sign of Virgo. And Virgos, as usual, we're going to uh, clear all negative energies before we get started. So we're going to be using this beautiful uh, sound bowl that I uh, purchased from the Rock Space in Kitchener on uh, Victoria Street. And uh, tonight I'll be posting after this video uh, a lot of details about this and providing you guys with a discount code where you can make your own purchases for your um, items here. And this is a, a thousand quart gemstone tree, so on and so forth. So I don't want to keep you with that, but uh, let's get started with your reading, Virgos. Now, if you are sensitive to sound, please turn down your volume um, especially if you have, have headphones on, okay? So let's get started, Virgos. All right, let's get into your reading, Virgos. And remember that messages may or may not resonate during the reading. Keep the ones that resonate. Leave the ones that do not. Otherwise, it will get confusing. Cards, when they come in in the reverse, upside down, I read intuitively. And I'll provide you the messages I receive from Spirit, guys. Let's get started, Virgos. Start off with your Spirit of the Animal Oracle. We've got the uh, Orca Whale. And this is uh, Adventure. And uh, dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know, Virgo. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love that. That's your uh, Spear the Animal Oracle for your reading. Now let's get messages from our angels for you, Virgos. What messages do Virgos need to hear from our angels, Spirit guys? Messages for the sign of Virgo. Thank you. We've got, firstly, Acacia. And we've got Azur. And we have Yvonne. All right. So Acacia says, uh, you are a spiritual teacher, Virgo. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gift and divine life mission. That is powerful. And I totally get that this is you because you are the hermit. You go deep, deep within to find your light, your path, your way, your direction. And I feel like that is uh, that spiritual gift. We've got Azor. Uh, your desired outcome will occur very uh, in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. Divine timing cannot be forced. It happens when it is time to happen, right? Last but not leastly, we have... You have a special bond with animals. Uh, your pets on earth and in heaven are being watched over by angels. Uh, you know, a lot of us uh, feel like our pets are our children. And I feel like that about my little Bosco and uh, Skywalker. <laughs> so I totally get if that is uh, how you feel about your pets, right? When you lose one, it's like losing a child. Now we are going to pull a spiritual AF message and see what we get. What do you guys need to hear, Virgos? Spirit guys, what do Virgos need to hear? What message do they need to hear? Okay, well, here it is. Courage is knowing it might hurt, but doing it anyway. Stupidity is the same. That's why life is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between courage and stupidity in your life? A big part of adulting is not crossing the line where your rebelliousness turns into recklessness. The people who ride this line most gracefully 
usually have a clear eye on their value and a good friend or two who will tell them when they're being a dumbass. If you can't decide if you're being brave or stupid, call a friend. Hint, don't call the dumbass friend, though. (laughs) Love it. Okay. Okay, Virgos, let's roll the dice. And they have every letter of the alphabet on them, including four wild. I'm going to keep rolling until I have five different letters. Could end up being your person's first name, their last name, your initials, their initials. Really, whatever helps you identify who it is you could be dealing with. Okay, Virgos, first letter we have is W. So we got Wes, Wesley, Will, William, Wilma, Winona, White. C. So we've got Carl, Carlos, Carol, Caroline, Chris, Christopher, Christine, J. So we've got Jamie, James, John, Johnny, Jared, Jonathan, Jackie, Gerald, uh, Justin, Justine. And we have I, Ingrid, Isaiah, Isabel, Isabella. Isaac, and we've got A, so we've got uh, A, Ashley, Andrew, Allison, Ashley, Anastasia, Austin, and we've got, so we've got A, I, J, C, and W, guys, okay? So if your person's letter didn't come out, don't worry about it, okay? You may resonate way more with the reading, Virgos. Let's get into your reading. My readings are timeless, could have happened already, could be happening right now, or could happen in your future. Just keep that in mind during the reading, okay? As well as vice versa. I could say this is you here, but you feel like your person's here and you're over there, and that works just fine, okay, guys? Let's see what we've got for your energies, Virgos. Wow. Wow, we've got the Six of Swords needing to let go of conflict and drama. And at the same time, we uh, got this one. I've got the tower. Okay, I feel like a tower moment happened and you have been holding on to that tower moment for quite some time now and uh, you can't quite seem to let go of what happened, how it happened, and you tell the story to everybody that comes by. Your, uh, you, you, who, who comes your way? The moon. Pisces energy, yeah. Because uh, you're just carrying this. You're like... Ah, everybody's going to be the same. This is how it turns out. This is what love is. Blah, blah, blah. You're just so hurt. You feel like you're just against the world, okay, at this point. Knight of Swords, yeah. You could have dealt with a narcissist, you know, someone who thinks uh, they're all that in a bag of chips. What they don't realize is those chips are stale, baby. Nobody wants your chips, Uh, okay? So I feel like you finally realized, I don't need this in my life, right? The temperance, uh uh-huh. Pulled your energies back, working on healing, balance, finding your way. Sagittarius energy. Let's clarify these. Let's clarify these. Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords for Virgo's energy. Why is the Six of Swords here, Spirit Guides? Why is the Six of Swords here? Two of Blades. Because you're, you're, you're not... You want to let go, but you don't want to let go. It's like you're still holding on to it like it's a comfort blanket of some sort. And it's not doing you any favors. But for some reason, you keep wanting to hold on to uh, the energy of what? Fear, worry, stress. What is this doing for you? Not much. Besides making you feel worse. Okay, you need to let go, man. I feel like, uh, yeah, look, the magician. You can create the life that you want. You can foresee it. You know you can have it. It's right in front of you. All you have to do is reach out and grab it. Oh, my God, it sounds like a abra, abracadabra. I'm going to reach out and grab you. Okay, the magician. That, that, that song works perfect for this, okay? <laughs> gotta reach out and grab it man it ain't just gonna fall on your lap okay the tower i feel like there's just this is a tower moment that you can't quite seem to let go of the empress look at you i feel like you don't realize how much you have grown from this uh this situation this this event that you dealt with 
It has made you so strong that you're giving off the Empress energy, Taurus energy. This is the mother of all queens of terror, very powerful feminine energy. And we all encompass masculine and feminine energies within. Some radiate out more than others. D d doesn't matter on your gender, right? So uh, I feel like what didn't kill you made you stronger, made you the person that you are today. And I feel like you need to thank the universe for this instead of going, oh, what's going on? You know, you don't be negative. <laughs> the head of thought, uh, more Taurus energy. I feel like that's the um, advice you're getting. Let, let fear go, man. Put this in the past. Okay, what are you carrying this baggage for that you don't need? Queen of Swords, because you're pissed off. You're so bitchy and crusty about what happened. It's like, Jamie, they need to pay. Okay, do, do they really need to pay? Do you need to let them live rent free in your mind and take over your whole life while they're enjoying their life? You know, and the, you're not going to be able to change anything. So holding on to this bitterness and this anger and this upset is doing it crapola for you. Okay. Just being honest, okay? If you can't take honesty, well, you're watching the wrong tarot reader. I'm going to tell you how it is. Because, look, the moon. You're carrying all these fears, these worries, these stressors that... Because you dealt with a narcissist. When you deal with a narcissist, man, you're just like... You feel like everybody's out to get you because you dealt with like... <laughs> I'm feeling narcissists are like devil energies, Okay. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn. I'm just feeling like deception, deceit. I mean, look, Eight of Blades. You've been feeling like you've been in a self-imposed prison in your mind and you have been living and reliving this situation that has made you feel like you're a prisoner in your own mind and you need to get the hell out. I mean, look at the crazy baby screaming. Okay, the baby's not crazy, but it's screaming crazily is what I meant. And then you got the dog howling. Oh, and then you're here. <laughs> okay, and then here you are at the window going like, Cal gone. Take me away. Remember Calgon? C-A-L-G-O-N? I've seen you guys spell it all sorts of different ways. Have you never used Calgon bubble bath before? Like, seriously. Calgon, take me away. The meme is like this woman who slips into a bubble bath. You don't see any nip or anything like that, so don't get too excited. But if you'd like to see it, you just go in your conversation on your phone and put Calgon, take me away to search for uh, gifts and you'll find it. <laughs> well, 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 we've got the two of coins. Balance. I feel like you want balance because your life has just been chaos lately. And uh, you're having a hard time letting go of uh, all sorts of, uh, you know, moments in your life that you feel like are keeping you trapped because you can't quite let go of this. You let go of this and you bring balance in your life, man. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. That is surprising. Okay, the sun. Leo energy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that hair flowing. The sun shining. Look at the happiness in her face. You've got the energy of the monarch butterfly, the rebirth energy. Like, uh, this is uh, something that is uh, pretty spectacular. Okay? And, uh, yeah. So... Guys, the sun could be coming out instead of the moon. Let go of this narcissistic energy that, uh, you know, pretty much I know you're you're yelling. They ruined my life. That's your perspective. But they didn't ruin your life. I feel like you can pick up the pieces and move on and let this shit go. OK, I feel like you're carrying it's like you're carrying a bag of garbage with you everywhere you go. And you're starting to smell like the garbage you're carrying. And I feel like you need to go dump it off somewhere at a garbage can or a dumpster or the dump. You need to get rid of this bag of garbage you're carrying because that's the emotional baggage you're carrying. It stinks. You need to get rid of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you can't stereotype everybody and go, oh, everybody's not has an ulterior motive. Everybody's out to get you. Don't try love. Love sucks, you know. Yeah, look, like, I just feel like you just feel like less sucks. What's the point? Justice. You're like, it always ends up like this, you know, and um, you got to change your look at this. You got to change your attitude. Look at these attitude energies, justice and temperance. It's like you got to let this hostility go. 
I feel like there's so much hostility. This is clarifying the night of stars and energy of hostility, narcissistic energy, right? Wow. Strength. Oh my Omi. You're so much stronger than you give yourself credit for, okay? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And strength is Leo energy. And then we've got the temperance. We're gonna clarify next, Virgos. Clarify the temperance, please, spirit guys. Why is the temperance here? Thank you. Seven of blades, because you need to heal from this deceptive energy. Okay, I feel like this deceptive energy has uh, taken you away from uh, being who you are. And uh, it's taking you away from uh, reality. It's taking you away from, uh, you know, the love that it is that you can find that you deserve. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, this is your energy, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles. You have everything that you need to be comfortable in your life. You you have everything you need, but you want love. And you just feel like, are you ever going to conquer love? Because love is a battlefield, right? It's like, hmm. Ooh. Ace of coins. I see a new beginning, guys. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. I see a new beginning, Ace of coins. You need to heal, though. I feel like that's the catch. Once you heal, then it comes to fruition. Okay. Okay, let's see your person's energies now, Virgos. Virgos, person's energies, please, spirit guides. What do we have for Virgos, person's energies? Are you kidding me? Seven of Swords. Lying, cheating, stealing, trying to get away with something you shouldn't be doing. Okay, well, we're going to see where this is going. King of Pentacles could be dealing with another Virgo or Taurus or Capricorn energy. This person is somebody who I feel was deceived. And uh, I feel like they trusted the energies that, that uh, they were dealing with and uh, they were deceived. Mm-hmm. Three of Pentacles. This could be somebody who they felt was, you know, the one, their partner. And uh, having that kind of uh, relationship come to, uh, you know, the energies of uh, deception and lies and things. It's like, it's like probably one of the most hurtful when you've kind of invested all of your energies into someone and trusting them with everything because you just feel that you can trust them and then they deceive you. Mm. King of Cups, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a water sign you're dealing with or a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Holy shit, bonkers. Well, 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 I've got the Six of Cups. Soulmate Energy. Reminiscing about the past, reminiscing about your youth, feeling youthful again, very youth. It's very youthful energy. So let's clarify these and see where this is going. Virgos, seven of swords. Clarify the seven of swords for us, please. Spirit guides, the star. They're healing from this, from this deception, betrayal that they've dealt with. You know, I feel like this person just learned a lot from this and they're seeing this as a learning lesson. I don't feel like they're bitter or angry or upset about it. I feel like they see this as a learning lesson. Three of wands. Because everything happens for a reason. I've been waiting for someone like you to come into my life. I feel like they've been wanting, you know, somebody who gives them that. That feeling that uh, they haven't felt before. Ten of Swords. Done, did he done, 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 done. I feel like that's them putting the past in the past. The star healing, pouring back in, investing in themselves, their energies. I feel like they're not letting that Seven of Swords energy take over their life. They're, they're letting this go. They're going to wait for the right person. They just They realize this wasn't the one for me. They, I wasn't with the right person. Look, a whole new world. They're going to let that past go and open up a new chapter in their life and start a whole new beginning.
King of Freaking Pentacles and King of Pen and we're clarifying the King of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with another Virgo, another Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn. Wow. And the fool taking that leap of faith. Wow. They were just ready for a new beginning. They're ready to take that leap of faith in Three of Pentacles when they find the one, the right one, their partner. The one, the one that makes them feel like they are part of a team. You know, because being in a relationship is like being in a team, really. You're not against each other, though. You're working together. So you're helping boost each other, helping each other succeed, helping each other. You know, you're not against each other. You don't have to be jealous of each other. You're supposed to be working together. Working together, right? That's how it works. You can't let somebody else do all the work and be lazy while they just do everything because eventually that will come to a stop because the person will have enough of your crapola and run to the hills. They'll be running for their lives. <laughs> Two of Wands. Uh -huh. They are making a choice, making a decision, and I feel like it is, you know, mm, only moving forward once they feel like they have finally reached the point where they've met their partner. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is a very, very hard worker. Everything that they do, they put full focus in it. And I feel like that is why they are focused, I feel like, on healing, on moving forward. The Temperance, Sagittarius energy. They're really focused on healing and moving forward. And you've got the Temperance here, too. You're doing the same thing. And I feel like you're having a hard time, but you're but you're doing it and you're still and you're working towards a new beginning. And I feel like you are going to get there. It's just hard to leave that bitter bitterness, that upset about being lied to and deceived, right? Because you guys both dealt with this. Seven of blades, seven of blades, right? I mean, look, they're being robbed. <laughs> okay, like that's not cool at all. We got knight of swords and strength, okay? I feel like they dealt with narcissistic energy as well. Okay, and it only made them stronger, just like you. Just like you. Because you got the strength here, right here. Okay, and you've got that Knight of Swords energy here as well. Knight of Swords, as well as the Knight of Swords. Uh, so you guys have a lot of similar energies. I feel like you guys have gone through similar situations. And it's like the healing part of it is just so painful. Ace of Pentacles. Uh, uh, are you kidding me? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Uh, this new beginning, I feel like, is uh, between the two of you guys for sure, for sure. And Six of Cups. I get soulmate energy. You guys are going to feel like teenagers again when you guys get together. You're going to feel like a connection you've never felt before in your life. Four of Wands. Eleven. Eleven. I see marriage proposal, commitment, long-term relationship, um, <laughs> celebrations, meeting perhaps at a party, night of wands. Well, I'm not feeling player energy here. I'm feeling like uh, you make their pee-pee go boing, boing, boing. <laughs> you know, M&M, E-N-I-M-E-N, -E -E you know. <laughs> Not like M&M's you eat. <laughs> Talking about the rapper. <laughs> okay, so we got Eight of Swords. Being in a self-imposed prison in your mind. I feel like your person has been... Uh, they dealt with player energy. Okay? But I also feel like they feel very attracted to you with this energy. But they are dealing with a lot of... Um, Trying to let themselves out of this self-imposed prison they're in in their mind. You're there too, man. I feel like you guys share so much. You guys have so much in common that you guys have dealt with. And I feel like you guys connect for that reason. And I know you guys are like, oh, you know, being a victim is what brings us together. That's terrible. Well, no, it's, it's not. I feel like you guys get to share your... Uh, your journey when it comes to the path of love that you've gone through so far. And I feel like you guys realize you have some very similar uh, stories that uh, you feel like brought you to each other at this point. Like you can't rush divine timing, right? It comes when it's time to come. 
Okay, so Virgos, uh, Eight of Cups, needing to let go of emotional baggage. I feel like you guys perhaps are both still carrying this, and you guys really need to work on just letting that go. Because when you do Nine of Cups, your wishes are going to be granted, fulfilled. And I feel like it's you guys coming together. So Eight and Nine of Cups so far, guys. And we've got the King of Cups, the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And uh, you've got a lot of water energy here. You could be definitely dealing with a water sign. And five of cups. This is all water energy here. <sighs> I feel like this person is starting to see what they still have, what opportunities they still have. Because all they're, we're focusing on is the three flowers that are drifting away that they've lost. But they still have two beautiful flowers blooming here. So not dwelling on what you have lost and focusing on what you still have and not focusing on the past or the future, but focusing on the present and not worrying about everything in between. OK, because it's like that's going to drive you crazy. OK, so uh, eight of cups. Let's clarify that eight of cups, please, spirit guys, for Virgos and their person's energies. Eight of cups. What do you have to clarify? The Eight of Cups, Spirit Guides. <laughs> With the baton, the Eight of Wands. Well, I feel like if you were to let go of this emotional baggage, there's going to be a party happening. Look at the fireworks. Okay, it says communication. You may be getting communication from someone. Movement, movement, action. Some action is going to happen. Productivity, productivity. So, vitesse et changement is uh, speed and change. So, uh, things are going to be changing in a hurry. And I feel like once you guys let go of the emotional baggage, so you've got the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups here. And look at that. We've got Le Page de Coupe, Page of Cups. There's love coming in, man. It says um, thoughts of love, pensée amoureuse, sensibilité. Somebody is very sensi sensitive. Immature émotionnellement. Somebody could be very immaturely, um, you know, emotionally immature. You know, they're they're. Admirateur and admire or crush. Well, we all know what a crush is, right? Uh, yeah, I feel like somebody's definitely uh, crushing on you, looking at you, watching you set the denier. This is looking at your life and what you've done with it so far and uh, what you need to do to continue moving ahead. Are you going to continue down the same path or are you going to change your ways? Uh, like where are you going to invest your energies, where you're going to be the most profitable, right? It says investissement et profit, investment and profit and uh, perseverance and effort. So perseverance, uh, perseverance and uh, effort is a found effort, strength. And uh, wow, the nine of cups. Are you kidding me? So wishes being granted. Here we go. Reine de Denier. That's you, Virgo, the queen of pentacles. And this says that you are very aligned and you're living the la life of luxury. Okay, we've got aligné et luxure, financièrement stable, financially stable, indépendant. You're very independent and you're very mature and uh, fertile. You know, and, uh, you know, you may be, uh, you know, not in that part of your life anymore, but uh, perhaps you are just somebody who is very kind and nurturing, loving, and that's that kind of energy you're giving off. Viet de coupe. Okay. Eight of cups here. Eight of cups here. Eight of uh, wands. So you got three eights here so far. And uh, this is uh, letting go. Putting the past in the past, not dwelling on it, not keep reliving it, okay? You need to take a trip and drop that shit off, okay? It says, abandon, you need to abandon these energies, okay? The energies of feeling abandoned as well could be. We've got lâché prise, let it just go. Laissez derrière, put it behind you. Aventure, adventure, retrait, retreat. La lumière au bout du tunnel, so the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's the Nine of Cups. Wish is coming true. And we've got Du DP, the Two of Swords. You know, being in a situation that you're not even sure you know what to do with. 
Okay, and I feel like it says uh, this is on difficile. Being in a situation where there's a very difficult decision to make, aveuglement, being blind, you know, not seeing the the big picture, and we've got choix entre deux personnes ou une situation, a choice between two people or a situation, and being very undecided, indécision. It's like the cup five of cups. You've been in a period of sadness where I feel like you uh, need to see what you still have and not hold on to what you've lost because you got the five of cups here, five of cups here. Like you've got regret, remorse, lo you feel loss, you feel guilt, you feel sadness, and you're focusing on the negativity of the past, right? So I feel like there's just a lot of need to let go. If you're going to allow somebody new into your life, you can't be carrying all that baggage, right? La tempérance, temperance. That's Sagittarius energy. You need balance in your life. The only way you're getting that is by healing, healing from the past and letting the pain go and seeing what you still have in your life. Stop dwelling on the past. La justice, justice, Libra energy. Some of you guys could have gone through a divorce, which is very painful, which is very difficult. Because we got justice, karmic, karmic justice, legality, legalities. And uh, we've got leçon karmic, karmic lesson, équilibre, balance, and uh, balancement, loi. Well, balancement of the law. So uh, whoever is a person of integrity is the person coming out on top. So if you're dealing with a legal matter, it could be that if you are the person of integrity, you will be the one on top. Five of cups. Okay, seeing what you still have. Look at that. Lovers in a dangerous time. Les amoureux is lovers in French. And this is I'm sans soulmate. Amour, love, romance, well, romance, association équilibré, a balanced connection. That's what you still have. You have an opportunity to love again. Are you opening your heart or are you going to keep it closed? Is the big question here, La Lune. You're terrified. You're terrified. You're like a little chicken. Okay? Shaking in your booties. I feel like you know what you want. You want love. And it's like a lottery ticket, okay? You want to win the lottery? Well, you can't win if you don't buy a ticket, right? Love? You want love? Well, you can't uh, get love without throwing your hat in there, right? Look at that. You're fearing what? A hot, new, passionate beginning? What are you afraid of? We've got Nouvelle Flamme, New Flame, Création, Creation, Passion, Passion, Inspiration, Inspiration, Excitation, Excitement, Enthusiasm, Enthusiasm. Are you going to say no to this? Because you're a little chicken? Yeah, I'm calling you chicken. If you've seen Back to the Future... You know what I'm talking about <laughs> when, uh, you know, uh, what is it? What's his name again? Gus is his name. Gus. I don't know. I don't remember. But anyway, <laughs> the big bully <laughs> and uh, Marty, I think it's called. I don't know. Anyway, uh, my daughter is obsessed with watching Back to the Future. Anyway, let's get to your soulmate card and get back on track. <laughs> OK, Virgos, close your eyes. Whether you're in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart center. Ooh, Virgos, let go of inhibitions. Be creative and allow your imagination to run wild. Your love life will transform in ways you never thought possible. Uh, you don't see it yet. Some of you guys don't see it, but it's coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we've got, Virgos, for your healing oracle. Oh, yeah. Wah, wah. Let's see what we've got, Virgo's uh, creation. Oh, boy, oh, boy, I love this, okay? I have the power to direct my life. With a constructive attitude, I create what is best for my soul. I firmly believe I can transform and improve my inner and outer worlds by turning every thought into affirmative action. 
I act in the image of God and bring light into my life. Okay, guys, there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Love, love, love this. I hope this reading inspired you and may empowered you and made you feel like uh, you don't have to be the victim of your own life and that you can conquer the world, right? So, uh, Virgos, I uh, appreciate you guys more than you guys know. I'd be nothing without you guys. So, uh, thank you. And um, I hope it resonated for you or at least entertained you. So, if I did, don't forget to thumbs up the reading and uh, or the video, I mean, and uh, share it with anybody who you feel may be in need to hear these messages. And if you want to see more uploads from my channel, make sure to subscribe. Uh, otherwise, I may uh, disappear into uh, the YouTube land. <laughs> This could be our last time together. You don't want that to happen, do you? <laughs> okay, anyway, guys, I'm just kidding around. But guys, thank you so much. I uh, love you guys. Have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are in this world. Okay, Virgo, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.